Hey there, savvy digital marketers! Welcome back to our weekly SEO news roundup, where we unpack the latest happenings in the ever-evolving world of search engine optimization. I'm Tausif, your guide through the twists and turns of algorithm updates, new features, and game-changing strategies. But before we jump into this week's SEO updates, I want to take a moment to highlight our incredible community on Discord. It's a community for like-minded individuals for the SEO and digital marketing world. If you haven't joined us yet, the, li- the link is right there in the description below. It's not just a space for news updates. We also give away a lot of uh, backlinks, coupons, some very important valuable resources as well. So our community is very vibrant and it's not just a community, it's more than a community. It's a hub of knowledge and opportunities. So if you're passionate about SEO and digital marketing, come join us. Now let's dive into this week's SEO updates. Let's kick things off with a bug that has that had SEOs doing double takes. Google Search Console recently had a reporting hiccup showing a dip in valid URLs. Don't panic, Google assures us it's just a glitch, no harm done. Google has acknowledged a reporting bug affecting the experience and enhancement reports in Google Search Console, including core web vitals, mobile usability, HTTPS, AMP and more. The bug falsely displays a decrease in the number of valid URLs reported. Despite the visual dip, Google reassures users that this is merely a reporting issue and has no impact on website indexing or ranking. The problem was resolved on Thanksgiving, November 23rd, and site owners need not be concerned as it was con- confined to reporting on Google's end. Heads up SEO champs, Google is bidding farewell to the crawl rate limiter tool in Search Console. Effective January 8, 2024, it's making way for smart, smarter crawling logic. The good news, you can still tweak crawl rates via server responses. Google has announced the deprecation of the crawl rate limiter tool in Google Search Console, effective January 8, 2024. The tool, available for over a decade, is being passed out due to improvements in crawling, crawling logic and the availability of alternative tools for publishers. Google emphasizes that the advancements in automated crawl rate handling make the tool obsolete and the minimum crawling speed will be set to a lower rate, aligning with the old crawl rate limits. Site owners can still influence crawl rates through server responses and Google encourages users to refer to documentation for guidance. The deprecation aims to simplify user experience while maintaining efficient crawling practices. Guess what? Google is spicing up search results. Now your social media follower count may be flaunted in snippets. It's official for YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram and more. But will it stick around? We will see. In a recent update, Google has fully implemented follower counts in search results snippets for social media platforms like YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and others. Initially tested in April, the feature has now been rolled out with personalization features accessible on both desktop and mobile. The mobile interface includes additional images, uh, and you might see this feature might be implemented soon. And let's see how it goes with Google. Google Bard is getting a serious update. Now it understands YouTube videos, opening up the world of richer conversations. Get the soup on how to ask Bard about your favorite YouTube recipes. In a recent update, Google Bard has been equipped with the ability to comprehend YouTube videos, allowing users to engage in digital conversations. According to Google, this extension with Bard is currently available for Gmail accounts. Users can now ask Bart for a list of YouTube videos on a topic and subsequently inquire about specific details, such as the content or spoken words in a particular video. For example, users can ask how many eggs are required in the recipe shown in the first YouTube video on making olive oil cake. Get the inside scoop from Google's search relations team on the search of the record podcast. Martin, Gary and John spill the beans on prioritizing technical SEO basics and content quality over chasing trends. Master the fundamentals and rethink your SEO game. Explore the inner workings of Google Search with the Search of the Record podcast featuring insights from the Search Relations team. In recent discussions led by Google's Search Relations team, Martin Split, Gary Elias and John Muir, uh, the emphasis is placed on prioritizing technical SEO basics and content quality over chasing the latest trends. The team highlights the need to address fundamental technical SEO issues such as site crawlability and indexing before delving into advanced strategies. Additionally, the experts caution against relying solely on traffic metrics and stress the importance of evaluating user engagement and satisfaction for a more accurate measure of content quality. Gary Elias suggests that creating high-quality content may be simpler than perceived, focusing on helping users achieve their goals. 
The key takeaways include mastering technical SEO fundamentals and prioritizing content quality and user engagement over traffic numbers for optimal SEO performance. Don't miss the valuable resources shared in the episode to gain a deeper understanding of effective SEO practices. As usual, I'll leave all the new segment links in the description of this video. So do give it a check. In the same podcast episode, John Miller throws shade on the traffic obsession. SEO success isn't just about raw numbers, it's about conversions and business impact. Google's John Miller discussed the common misconception of using traffic as the primary metric for SEO success. The conversation highlighted the disconnect between increased traffic and actual business impact, emphasizing the importance of focusing on conversions and the overall value of website traffic. Miller suggested that the many SEOs tend to overlook return of investment and the impact of SEO on earnings, cautioning against the misleading nature of solely concentrating on traffic numbers. The discussion underscores the need for a nuanced approach to SEO success metrics beyond raw traffic statistics. John Muellers added again, this time he warns against blindly following SEO tools, tailor your content to your audience, not just what the tools say. Google's John Miller cautions against relying solely on SEO tools for content creation. In response to a question about using Vietnamese accents in content aimed at American and Australian tourists, Miller emphasizes writing for the target audience's language. He advises against blindly following SEO tools suggestions and encourages content creators to conduct their own research. The discussion underscores the importance of checking actual search engine results and using personal judgment alongside SEO tools for effective content optimization. Big news from OpenAI. The ChatGPT voice feature is now free for all users. It's not just for the premium folks anymore. OpenAI has introduced free voice functionality for all ChatGPT users, revolutionizing AI interaction. Previously exclusive to premium subscribers, the voice feature is now accessible to all, enabling users to engage with ChatGPT through voice commands. This democratization of uh, access opens new opportunities for content and search marketers to explore voice-optimized strategies. The update enhances users' interaction, providing a natural and intuitive way to engage with AI, benefiting content creation, interactive campaigns, and voice search optimization. Microsoft's got your back this holiday season. Check out the festive holiday marketing playbook for insider tips on maximizing success during the holiday shopping rush. Don't miss this strategic checklist for a winning holiday campaign. Microsoft Advertising offers key insights and strategies in its festive holiday marketing playbook to help businesses maximize their success during the holiday shopping season. The playbook emphasizes understanding the timing of revenue peaks, the rise of deal-seeking behaviors among consumers, and the crucial role of search in guiding purchasing decisions. Advertisers are encouraged to adapt to consumer trends, capitalize on search opportunities, and maintain momentum even after the Cyber 5 period. The playbook includes a strategic holiday planning checklist to guide advertisers in launch effective campaigns, leveraging AI and optimizing for returns. Amazon is making AI education, education accessible. The AI Ready initiative offers free AI courses to train 2 million globally by 2025. Explore the courses, scholarships, and collaborations, a golden opportunity to upskill in the AI landscape. Amazon, Amazon has launched the AI Ready initiative offering 8 free AI and generative AI courses to train 2 million individual, individuals globally by 2025. This move responds to the increasing demand for AI skills and the potential for high, higher salaries in the field. The initiative includes courses for non-technical audiences, scholarships for high school and university students, and collaborations with educational platforms. With a focus on making AI education accessible, Amazon aims to bring the gap in AI talent and contributing to the evolving digital landscape where AI-driven strategies are crucial for success. Attention market researchers, Niche Finder is your go-to tool for discovering profitable niches. With keyword research, commodity analysis, and a flexible premium pricing plans, it's a game changer. Niche Finder is a powerful market research tool designed for professionals and business seeking to discover profitable niche markets and analyze competitors effectively. With features like comprehensive keyword research, in-depth website insights, and competitor analysis, Niche Finder empowers users to stay ahead in competitive landscapes. The tool offers flexible pricing plans, including a free option with essential features, making it accessible to a wide range of users. Organize your research, export findings effortlessly, and benefit from dedicated customer support. So start your free time today and simplify your journey to profitable niche discovery. 
no i'm not uh, being sponsored by these people i'm just i just found this tool and it kind of look interesting to me so i'm sharing with you guys and if you find it useful as well do write me in the comments another tool which is a uh, which will revolutionize your content creation with content shake ai by sem rush this all in one tool combines ai and your expertise for unique engaging content try the free plan or uh, unlock advanced features the future of content creation is here content shake ai by sem rush is your go to content writing tool combining the power of ai in your business expertise to generate unique engaging content and at scale from finding resonating content ideas to creating quality articles first of all with ai and optimizing for maximum impact content shake ai streamlines the entire content creation process with a user friendly interface personalized content suggestions and one click wordpress publishing this all in one tool helps you boost organic traffic effortlessly they also have a free plan but i believe it requires sign up with credit card so if you plan to use its free plan make sure to cancel it before the subscription expires and if it really helps you then paying for the tools like this will give you a good returns in long term and it's from SEM rush so definitely give it a try because i'm also giving it a try and usually SEM rush tools they are my favorite seo tools so far and there it is another edition of our weekly seo news roundup in the box we covered everything from google bug squashing to exciting developments in voice technology and ai driven content creation As you navigate the ever-shifting landscape of digital marketing, you remember that say, staying informed is the key to success. If you enjoyed today's insights, don't forget to hit that like like button, subscribe for more weekly updates, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep optimizing and keep innovating and keep conquering the digital game.